is my second YouTube video. I thought since I just started a YouTube channel, I would do like a get ready with me slash Q&A. So I asked my Instagram spam for like questions that they ask people when they first meet them slash questions that would be good to ask me. So these questions are partly from my Instagram spam, partly from the internet. So enjoy. Oh, I already washed my face, but I do need to cleanse it, which I meant to do before I started this, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. I usually use, okay, I'm gonna forget what I usually use, but it's like, okay, you'll see, one second. Okay, this is so embarrassing, <laughs> but I usually use this, which is not embarrassing. This is embarrassing though. I think I've dropped it twice and it just like cracks. But anyway, it's the Shea Moisturizer and I like it. I think my face is a little dry. I don't know, I think I'm more like neutral to dry. But anyway, this is what I use to moisturize my face. But after I clean it, I do toner. So I have the basic Thayer's, is that how you? I got the cucumber one because the rose one they didn't have at the Target I went to at the time, like years ago, which was really sad. And cucumber's fine, but ugh, whatever. I can't wait to like use this up. I wait for it to dry usually, like air dry. I don't know why, it just makes me feel good. And then I used to do, and then I used to do, what's it called? What are those things called? Oh, a serum, but like an oil serum thing. But I stopped doing it because it gave me like tiny dots all over my face. Like not acne, or I guess it could be acne, but not, it wasn't like full fledged like pimples. They were just like dots on my face. Usually after this step, I use a gua sha. Gua sha. And I like go like this and like stuff like that. But I lost my gua sha. I'm pretty sure it's in my room somewhere. But my room is just so messy right now. I'm waiting for the weekend to like deep clean it. And I'm gonna like get rid of a bunch of stuff. I might film it for like a later video. But I don't know. I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing with this whole YouTube thing yet. I'm next gonna use, I usually just use this in the morning. But I like just got this too. So I don't even know how good it is, if I'm being honest. I got it a couple days ago. I used the Ultra Hydrating Eye Cream by Acure. 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 And I just like put a dot here. That's a little too much actually. Okay. Especially in the morning because my eyes get super puffy. My whole face gets super puffy. I don't know if you saw in the last vlog, but there's a clip of me walking to the garage and my face is so puffy and it's fine, like it's normal, but it was just like, ugh, it's annoying, you know what I mean? I have gotten no sleep this week and it's so bad. So I don't drink energy drinks often because they're not good for you. But I got this Amazon energy drink. I literally took like three sips and this is like me now. Like this is not, I guess it's normal, like normal, it could be normal. But like for today and for the amount of sleep that I've gotten this week slash last night, it's not normal. But it's okay because I wanted to like feel good while I was making a YouTube video and like feel happy. But you don't have to be happy all the time. I just wanted the video to have good vibes, you know? Next, I use the, I don't even know what this is, Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken. I'm gonna preface this, it's a concealer. Oh, it's a five-in-one concealer. I don't even know what that means. Just gonna preface this by saying that I know next to nothing about makeup, and it's not because I'm different, it's just because I, I just don't know a lot about makeup. But I wear it almost every day. So I'm just gonna do like my normal makeup routine. And then if something appalls you and you feel like I need to know, then tell me in the comments, but yeah. So I just put it on like the inside corners of my, just like right here. Yeah. 
And then I used to use my fingers. I've been using a brush lately, so I'm gonna use a brush to just like blend this. I kind of destroy my eye when I do this. And honestly, like you barely notice the difference, so it's fine. Okay, oh, I totally forgot to answer questions. Question number one, favorite TV show? If you know me, you know I love Grey's Anatomy, which is like very controversial for a reason I don't know, but a lot of people like hate Grey's Anatomy or like hate people who like Grey's Anatomy. Sorry, it's just really good. That's all I have to say. It's like gone on very long now and I've, I'd, be li I'd be lying if I said I was caught up on everything, but it's kind of just like, I'm just attached to the characters at this point. But just like start it, like it's so good. It's so good. There's so many like storylines that are like crazy good. Anyway, that's my favorite TV show. Now we're going to direct our attention to my tiny little jowl brow. Now we're going to direct my attention to my Chinese. Now we're going to direct our attention to my Chinese. I can tiny, tiny little brow gel. And I'm going to put that on using this mirror. Okay. They're done. They're really crazy right now, but I just let it like marinate and then I go in with this thing. Don't ask me why this is like tweaked, but I like it better actually. <laughs> this is, I don't know how people feel about this, but this is like the Maybelline Super Stay. It's, I'm pretty sure it's, it's a lip gloss because I bought it as a lip gloss, but I put, I use this blush and consequently, it does soak into my skin a lot of the time. But I have yet to buy actual blush because I think this is fine. Which I don't know if that's true, but... I put my blush over my nose and like here. I don't know why, I feel like it looks more sunburnt. And that's kind of like the vibe. Like I'm not actually supposed to look sunburned, but like I don't even know what what I'm trying to say. But that's like the gist. I got this makeup palette for Christmas because I've never had a makeup palette before. Could because like I said, I'm not very makeup experienced. So I got this. It's like some sort of dude. Don't I'm pretty sure because it's from Amazon. So I just saw like the first one that looked pretty good. Oh, next question. What sport do you like the most? If you know me, you know that I row. And rowing, I feel like when people hear that, they think like kayaking. I do not kayak, okay? I do not kayak. I've done a lot of sports, but rowing has definitely been like the hardest, but also the most rewarding and most fun which I feel like goes hand in hand with something being hard. Like if it's hard, it's gonna pay off like 10 times more than something that was easy. I've been rowing for six years now. Our team is pretty like close this year, which is really good because we had some things happen to us. Anyway, okay, as I talk about this, we're gonna keep going because I'm trying to make this video 15 minutes long. Don't think that's gonna happen, especially as much as I'm talking right now, and it's gonna be hard to cut out like a lot of things I'm saying. But we're going to try and do it. 20 minutes is fine, but I feel like the attention span of the average viewer is not 20 minutes long. I usually use this color, as you can probably tell, and then I use like the black on top of it to like deepen the color. I think I'm gonna do that today because I'm wearing black. So I think I want to go for more neutral today. Okay, this is also could be controversial, but I have hooded eyes, right? Pretty sure I do because everything that I've heard explains it as the way that my eyes are. But I don't say I have hooded eyes and everyone's like, you don't have hooded eyes. I used to do it like on top, but now I go, this is so awkward. <laughs> okay, now I go, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
now I go from here like up like just to like right here and I just go like right there and I feel like it makes my eyes look like bigger kind of so we're gonna do that so I'm just gonna do it in the mirror oh I never finished talking about rowing well there's a lot to say about rowing I kind of like forget this feeling since I've been doing it for a while but especially when you first join you kind of realize that there's like rowers like literally i kid you not like live in a different world because rowing has like its own jargon its own like language its own like it's a very specific sport and the way that you row like i watch people row at the gym or like anywhere and they don't they're not rowers and that's fine like i ultimately do not care how you row on the rowing machine but it's just like your back has to hurt like has to hurt and, and hey if that's if that's you that's fine but i would look it up because the way that people row without knowing how to row is like pretty dangerous for your body and like especially your back like we know how to row like the people on my team obviously and we have back issues all the time because rowing is actually a pretty like low impact sport so like on your joints on your back like it's a pretty low it should be a low impact sport if you feel like you're hurting your back or something else by like doing that you're probably doing it wrong i that would be me if i didn't row that would be me so it's like it's it's literally fine favorite hobby what's your favorite hobby Okay, so my favorite hobby would be probably running, if I'm being honest, which I don't know. I get a lot, I get that a lot of people don't like doing it, but if you just try it out and you just run, especially if you start the day, like if you go in the morning and it's like crisp and the air is like cold and brisk and just like, ah, uh, it's beautiful. And like, especially if you like can feel the morning dew while you're running, it's amazing and your day starts off on such a good note i love this chapstick by the way it's i love it it's burt's bees it's vitamin e and peppermint and the peppermint makes my lips tingle but not in like a lip plumping way but it like i can feel the peppermint and i don't know why i love it so much it's probably not a good thing but i love it so much okay so i already did my eye makeup see how i did it under this one looks a little bit different if I'm telling the truth, but it's fine. Now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I think it's a little dry. I think I need a new one, but I really like this one. Okay, I just did my top lashes. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. But I think I mentioned before that my room is really messy and I'm going to deep clean it. And deep cleaning it is honestly the first step to me. I think I talked about it in, this in the vlog too, but anyway, you're gonna hear it again. It's the first step to me like kind of redoing my room. I go to college in like a couple months, but I really, really feel like I just need my life in order. And like it is, but I just want it to be like pristine, you know what I mean? Yeah, my makeup is pretty much done now. I mean, I just have to tame my eyebrows. This is pretty much the final look. I don't know what else I do. Okay, this is like a shimmery white and this is like a shimmery brown. So a lot of the time, I think we'll go with the brown for more like natural muted vibe. And I just go in the corner, just like that. And because my eyes are headed, it like overlaps right here, which is really weird, but it's fine. I don't mind it. I have an, I have a, an extension cord at the side of my bed and the plug wasn't like plugged in all the way so there was a gap in between the like the extension cord plug and my apple watch plug and i leaned over and my pendant went in the middle shocked me short circuited like the 
the outlet and like my parents weren't home so they had my dad came back and like turned the breaker off and on again and then it was fine but that was awful and I was like itchy for like the rest of the night because of the like shock I feel like I can't catch a break first is a car accident now I'm like short circuiting outlets in my house I don't know if there are any more questions that people want to hear but I appreciate all of my 13 subscribers you guys are the best <laughs> make sure to subscribe hit that like button Sorry, I'm looking at this mirror a lot because I can like see myself talking. I'm gonna face it away from myself. Anyway, this book is killing me, absolutely killing me. I read the, the It Ends With Us. This book is absolutely murdering me. I It's so slow. I'm on page like 250 right now and like things have sped up towards the end, but it's like not. It's nothing special, like I'm not on the edge of my seat, I'm not like extremely interested anymore. The first book was really good, but I can't stand behind that book, this book. I found this really cute little journal and I think it's so cute. It has like two dog tags, which I've, dog tags, is that what they're called? Which I've never seen before, like they're, I, it's, I think it's really cute and just like extra, perfectly extra. I'm gonna come back here so you can't see what I wrote, but, I did do my first entry last night, which is so fun and fresh of me. Do you see that? And I wrote it in pink. Isn't that so fun? It's the only color that I could find around my room. Oh, I forgot to put on like some lip gloss. This lip glow by Dior, I guess. Thanks, mom, because I bought this from my mother. It's a little messed up, but it's this color. I usually use like a clear lip gloss and put lip gloss on my lips, but I cannot. It's in my other bag and I'm not gonna go get it right now. Sorry about it. That was the end of this video. Hope you have a great day, great night, great morning, whatever the case is. And I hope you come back next week for another video from yours truly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.